yeah so like there's a in the book then there's a whole other kind of a section i don't know how much of it is in your ver first one but he talks about which is you know right up my alley let's let's get this straight i was kind of surprised that he was going to get into this kind of stuff but he kind of gets into kind of economic value theory so he there's one chapter on edmund burke's kind of musings on value theory there's also one on how he links nietzsche to the marginalists so nietzsche to jevons and hayek and the the austrian school von mises and these guys he has a chapter chapter five called burke's market value and chapter six called in nietzsche's M margins where the nietzsche's margins are basically about it's basically about how, how Nietzsche wanted to try and saw the as a reaction to like the rise of the socialists and the French Revolution and all that. He sought a a new direction in the power of you know the Superman or whatever mm. how, in, in politics could dominate, yeah, and how that could value would be denoted by here this idea of like you know the great person would denote what has value or does not have value. As opposed to like the schools of Marx, Ricardo, Adam Smith would say it's based in the labor. He would say, no, it's a subjective thing. It's like the great man, Napoleon, comes in and he decides in the society what has value or what does not have value. Oh. Yeah. And and then he links that like so he saw like the kind of like a value theory in the political actor. And he made this link then towards how like Hayek and these were influenced by Nietzsche. But they went and saw how the market was the place that would decide what has value or not. And, you know, this like big engine, you know, computation engine that is the market. And it would decide, you know, people would sub, sub, would decide, everybody makes their own subjective little idea, opinions on what has value or what doesn't have value. And that's where value arises. So like he made this like distinction between like, classical political economy and as kind of a scientific approach to understanding the economy towards a, a conservative shift towards different variants but essentially the same i the same general idea that value is a subjective thing and is it's not something that can be that comes that can be analyzed scientifically we it, it's much more a subjective thing that it's just people making choices that something has value as opposed to l the amount of labor that's in the thing determining yeah, yeah so yeah. He, there's quite a lot of a lot of stuff in there but it's not in your version 